Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, the do's and don'ts of your uh, health insurance. So uh, health insurance has been a very sensitive topic in our nation. And uh, if at all you're starting your financial journey, it's one of your very important thing to be like uh, taken care of. So the first thing that has to be taken care of is going to be your uh, term insurance followed by your health insurance. Then comes your financial savings. So that's going to be the third part of your financial career. So the first thing is your uh, term insurance. We'll see that in another video. The second thing is your health insurance. So the health insurance plays a very crucial part. So in this video, we'll see the do's and don'ts of your health insurance. The first thing that we're going to talk about is like, when is the right age to buy your health insurance? Like when exactly do we uh, start your health insurance? So I would say like uh, with the medical uh, expenses increasing every four years, as per the reports, there is like 50% uh, of increase is happening every four years. So uh, a double is happening on that. So I would advise you to go for a health insurance ASAP. So get an insurance as soon as possible. The minute you see this video, I would advise you to get your health insurance immediately because your age is less now. You get the very least premium payable for your entire tenure. Also, you also get a high coverage value as well as your uh, age is less now. A lot of insurers or a lot of companies are ready to pay you a, a very good uh, leverage or I would call it as like a very good uh, um, coverage for your uh, money spent. So I would advise this is the right age for you, whether you are in your 20s or in your 30s or in your 40s, start it right away because there is a wait up time as well for certain diseases to be cured or to be covered. That's the most important thing to be done because there is something called as a no claim bonus that gets added up if you are not like say for example you are in your 20s and uh, we are normally not prone to fall sick in your 20s. So every year what happens is like the money that we are uh, paying them as a premium gets automatically doubled up like they give us a coverage added up when as in the form of no claim bonus as you have not climbed up for anything so there is a double in your uh, claim or in your coverage so the coverage gets automatically doubled up or it gets automatically increased so that becomes a very uh, added feature so as days pass on from 20s to your 30s you'll be able to accumulate that so when you're choosing your health insurance plan always look out for the right plan and like whichever is like giving you a ncb bonus and which gets automatically added up every year and year after year so that's the first thing to be noted so that when it comes to age start it right away that's the very first thing to be like taken care of the second thing is going to be like finding out the network hospitals like you need to find out the hospitals in your locality the insurer may provide you with uh, hundreds and thousands of hospitals. So always look out for uh, hospitals in your locality. Say for example, you are in like Delhi, you are in NCR, you are in Mumbai. Look out for hospitals which are in your closest locality and also look out for something which is like cashless. You need to always uh, take care of that as well because we are not uh, as normal uh, middle class Indians. We won't be able to spend money upfront and then like claim from the uh, uh, hospital. So when it becomes a situation or when it becomes a state when there are like no one network hospitals, try to go out for uh, paying from your pocket and then reimbursing from them. In all other cases, always go for a cashless treatment and go for hospitals in your uh, network. So in your locality, find out for hospitals. So find out which insurer is providing you with best of that and go for that. That's the second thing which need to be like uh, focused about. Even though there are like 200 network hospitals, find out like which is having like more cashless hospitals. That's the most important factor or the crucial thing to be taken care of here in this. Then all of us would be like employed and there are some companies or like in fact some of the majority of the companies are paying you as uh, medical insurances as well. So make sure that like your company's uh, insurance is like covered. Besides having your company's insurance, make sure that you have your personal insurance as well. Because the minute you quit your job, your insurance is gone and you will not be able to cover it or like you will not be able to use those benefits on your personal life as well. So unless and until you don't have a personal insurance which has been like year and year after you've been using it or renewing this policy, you will not be able to climb for certain diseases because as I said earlier part of the video, there's a wait period for certain diseases. So you need to take care of that as well and take it into consideration before you are just going with your corporate policy as well. Like checking up all the uh, features in it because a lot of corporates give you an option as copay where uh, say for example your coverage is about uh, 5 lakhs and you've got a bill of about 4 lakhs. The uh, employer would normally have a uh, clause written somewhere as like you need to pay 20% of the amount as uh, a copay so which makes like you have pay like three lakh sixty thousand and the remaining eighty thousand is being paid by you so make sure that like the copay is like uh, there and you are like, ready to accept that and you'll be able to plan up for that as well whenever you're going for your uh, health insurance uh, claim 
and the thing is like you need to also make sure that like companies when they don't do well or when there is a change in the management they try to take off uh, the uh, co-participants in your policies they first try to get it off your spouse or they try to truncate the kids from the policy so it's always advisable to not only rely on your corporate um, uh, insurance always go for your personal insurance as well side by side with your uh, corporate insurance as well then the next thing that you need to uh, importantly take into consideration is your additional leverage or i would call it as like an additional coverage say for example you've got a 10 lakh policy from uh, xyz provider and uh, your bill is coming about 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs and you've been like diagnosed with some uh, unforeseen disease and uh, you will not be able to like uh, meet up those expenses. So in situations like that, an additional top up cover is like very much uh, advice. There are a lot of top up service providers. We'll see that in the latest part of the video. So in that you'll be able to see that the main uh, baseline, say for example, you've been charged up for uh, um, 10 lakhs and uh, the main insurer is like trying to pay you only 6 lakhs the remainder of 4 lakhs you'll be able to pay from the other top up insurance provider so they'll be able to assist you with your uh, the remainder of the payment so always go for a top up insurance as well that comes really handy to you the coming to the most important thing is like uh, don't start late a lot of us try to do this mistake when we are young we make sure that like we are living our life and we we are like pretty careless and we understand that like we won't fall sick and we try to ignore up your health insurance we uh, we think uh, spending for the health insurance is like an additional burden and we don't spend on that but when you go to your 40s and late 40s when you are like into complications and stuff immediately you rush up for uh, medical insurances at that time the insurer will look out for your health history and you'll be able to find out like for example you are like uh, are running up with diabetes or like blood pressure or like you've been operated for some emergencies these all come into a factor and your uh, coverage will be like really less or your uh, insurance will be like really huge so always start young that's the key to your health insurance try to go with the least premium and try to come compound your uh, no claim bonus year after year that becomes like an added advantage to you so coming to the uh, very important part of this where we are going to see like uh, what exactly are available in the market so for this uh, we can see uh, policy bazaar they are one who are providing up a really cool service on uh, you'll be able to see uh, or compare up different policies and uh, you'll be able to take a decision of your own so i'm going to policy bazaar i'm going to choose up my option as uh, health insurance so you take up your health insurance for uh, yourself as well as your spouse so never try to mix up your parents with your uh, family because uh, as they are really old the uh, premium for them is going to be like really huge so always if you are like in your 20s and if you are not at married always have a policy with them separately have a policy with your parents mom and dad and you have it as a separate policy the minute you are married try to create up another health insurance policy with your spouse and later you will be able to add up your kids into the policy so here i'm going to add up for my uh, myself as well as my kid click on uh, continue there i'm going to choose up uh, my age always uh, go for the highest age because that's how your premium is going to be calculated so for reference my age is like 43 and say so for example my wife's age is uh, 36 and click on continue and i'm taking this pin code of this uh, city as going to be uh, I can choose up any of the city so find out for your exact city or at least the nearby metropolitan say for example in this case I'm going to choose as uh, Delhi so they'll ask you for your uh, information so let me give up my name and followed by your mobile number this is not my mobile number so you can uh, So then comes the very important thing. This is what uh, happens when you are like taking up your policy at a later part of your age where a medical history automatically gets added up into your thing. You will not be able to lie in this because anytime they get to find out like you've been like lying to them, your entire policy is going to be like super and this is going to be a complete network. Like if you are like trying to uh, fail your reports in one of these uh, service providers, it will be automatically spread to the entire uh, network of uh, insurers and you will not be able to get an insurance policy anywhere. So try to be as authentic as possible and try to give up all your information is valid here so here I'm going to take uh, none of these and uh, so there's a health insurance question being asked here does your office provide I say it does no and here you'll be able to see all the list of plans being shown up so here I'm going to look out for uh, policies that are like there are like a lot of insurers available here you could see like a whole bunch of insurers are showing up here so I'm going to take the option as all filters. 
I'm going to choose the option as uh, cashless hospitals network. That's the prime criteria for me. And um, click on apply. You could see that uh, there are a lot of uh, cashless um, hospitals which are like provided by these uh, network service providers. And there is a room rent type as well. So you need to take it into consideration of this as well. This is a very important thing because uh, when we are taking up a uh, policy, we need to make sure or we need to read the clause of it very clearly because uh, you are staying in a um, um, hospital and the room rent has to be like uh, 25,000 or 30,000 per day, which is going to be like a complete uh, um, ICU with a separate room and an AC and uh, television and stuff. But your policy will be like uh, eligible for you to avail only up to 15,000. So the remainder of 10,000 for every single day will be added up to you as an additional money. And you will have to pay that by the end of the, or, uh, the time when you get discharged from the hospital. So always make sure that like your policy is there is like no room rent limit or no settings of any that sort. And make sure that like your policy is like free from everything and uh, choose up the policy that gives you a complete uh, leverage over your money. So here I'm going to take it as a no room rent limit and click on apply filters and I'll be able to see a few more insurers showing up here. Then uh, another thing that you need to choose is uh, if your hospital is uh, the insurer is trying to give you pre-hospitalization cover which means like before your uh, hospitalization there could be some scans or some x-rays or some blood tests and stuff. So if they are covering up all of those and after uh, hospitalization there will be a checkups and there will be like scans again and stuff. If they are giving you that and if there is no claim bonus in it and if they are allowing you daycare treatments and stuff, look out for all of these. Do enable your maternity cover as well if at all you are planning to get uh, married shortly or if you have a spouse with you, plan up for this as well. Normally maternity covers are um, covered after two years of your uh, policies by almost all the service providers. So look up for that as well. Then click on again this and uh, if you have a uh, maternity covering, if there is like uh, most of them like provide after two years, if you have no preference, you can ignore that or you can choose that. And if you have any existing disease, uh, you can choose the option as like one year and um, insurers, you'll be able to choose a list of companies as well. For in this case, I'm going to choose a star health and click on apply filters. I'll be able to see Star Health and all of the policies that are available with Star Health. So here, unfortunately, I'm not able to see any of these. And I'll go to my insurer and I choose as a So here I'm able to see uh, the list of uh, policies which are available. The best part is like you'll be able to compare them with like uh, different policy providers. For example, I can add this to my comparison with, uh, you can choose with uh, Optima Secure, which is provided by HDFC Ergo. And uh, you can click on compare now. So you'll be able to see the list of uh, features available in this. So in the future, if at all you plan to add up your kid into this policy, you'll be ab able to add in this Optima Secure. So add up that feature as well. Then if you got a renewal bonus happening here, just add up that as well here in this. So you'll be able to uh, claim up that feature. Then there is a free health checkup which has been added up in this. This is a very important thing. As you are young now, you normally don't try to like focus on this. But as you day as days goes on, you will automatically look out for uh, policies which will give you an annual checkup. It's like as they say, the prevention is better than cure. It's always uh, advisable to keep a health uh, check on your uh, vitals always because uh, we never know when we are going to fall sick. You can't say I, I had a checkup which was done three years ago. So do an early annual checkup and then like make sure that like your vitals are all like perfect and everything is in hand. So that checkup is also covered here. They are giving you a 1500 rupees of free health checkup as well. And you'll be able to see how much is going to be your uh, monthly premium and how much is going to be your uh, annual premium and stuff. And after that, uh, you can choose up your policy in this. And uh, you can also filter up some more settings here, which are uh, if it is going to be uh, if you are planning for a coverage of just five lakhs or five to ten lakhs, and you'll be able to choose different. Uh, options available in this. So these are some of the policies which are available or service providers which are available in Policy Bazaar. You will be able to uh, just go through them and filter up according to your requirements and you'll be able to follow on this and like take it further from there. So the main important thing or the criteria is that we need to know on, on all of this is like uh, um, the do's and don'ts. So the first thing to do is like start young. 
don't wait for your 30s and late 40s to start up your uh, health insurance always start young and uh, look out for ho clashless hospitals in your network in your reach always look out for that and go with the insurer in your location say for example you are settled in uh, in a location look out for hospitals in that area and also look out for uh, hospitals or uh, uh, play up companies or insurers who provide you like NCBs. So NCBs plays a very huge role. So always look out for NCBs and whoever is providing that go with them and also look out for uh, uh, hospitals or try to read their terms and conditions in detail because as I said earlier there is always a checkpoint which has been kept that uh, there is a room rent limit or there is a capping on this and they will not be able to make you uh, or like allow you to spend more than this kind of limit settings are available. So always look out for all the caps and ceilings on this and find out the exact things and on the do's po don'ts point you just need to like uh, um, you should not mix up uh, the insurance with your parents as well as yours and uh, do not be hesitant to take up your personal insurance hoping that your uh, employer's insurance will take care of you and uh, don't take for insurance in your late 40s and 50s because by the age of uh, 50 and 60 none of the insurers are ready to insure you they won't be like ready to pay for you and they even though if they are paying the premium is going to be like really huge so always look out for insurances in your early uh, age itself so these are some of the points which you need to like take care of before taking up your policies or your health insurance and uh, if you have any of your comments and if you have anything to share just leave that in the comments and if you like the contents of this video do share it with your friends and i'll catch you up in the next one thank you